Information till the cells reach to each other, they cannot differentiate it. The information is transferred through what you call inducing agents. Define signals of differentiation. Now if you see what are the signals causing these step cells, the inducing agents which are important for this differentiation, I will show you the subsequent slide which are required. Without that inducing agent, the cell cannot differentiate at the required level. Now here if you see in the gut, the stem cell means it's not alone a stem cell, it could be embryonic stem cell, it could be a, you can say the adult stem cell, you can say an iPSC cell, induced pluripotent stem cell. The each step if you see happening here, the first cell has to differentiate into a gut cell because the cell has to go in a lineage of gut, gut derivatives, then the pancreas and then the islet cells. So it cannot differentiate, any cell cannot differentiate to directly to any kind of specific cell. It has to follow the lineage which nature Hello? It has to follow the lineage which nature has given a specific system to develop. Now here if you see, subsequently from gut it has to go to pancreatic lineage and then endocrine function is taken and then the beta cell. Now I told you as the inducing signals, inducing signals are very important but particularly diabetes when I am putting up here is that activine, pentagastrin, ascorbic acid, PDX1, these are the inducing agents or chemical, fact, or chemical factors which could be used in a specific composition in the lab or in the body itself they are acting but the similar composition in the lab you have to use it. The cell to get into a different lineage to become an insulin or beta secreting cell. This lineage, this inducing agents play a major role as an extracellular factor which are coming from the environment, microscopic environment. Doesn't cell doesn't do it, microscopic environment has to do this. This small video which I would like to show you, just go through the video and I'll explain you how what does it mean like. Now if you see this there was a tube with two angles which was showing for ventilation and nutrition to the cells coming. The tube was containing a medium having nutrition supply for the cell stem cells. It takes its own time in a CO2 incubator cells to differentiate at different level into stem cells. Stem cells to into an uh, pancreatic cell. The individual cells will start differentiating then they form a club like groups and these club like groups form the bunches of the islet cells. And these islet cells These islet cells are the factories of the stem cells what we can make it. This is what my question was asking you is that can we make stem cells, beta cells and implant on your body either in the pancreas or in a kind of capsule which has got the biodegradable or biotary capsule capacity to semi permeable membranes through which the insulin can be released in the body at the same time the cells will not be attacked by the immune system of the body. Now this is the second part of my talk, it remains with, this was the first talk of the part which was I was going ahead with the beta cell making, uh, how the beta cells can be made up and how beta cells can be used for therapeutic applications. Whereas at the same time in type 1 diabetes if you see, we know the defect lies in the immune system. Immune system has gone haywire and they are unable to identify your own body parts of beta cells and these T cells become responsible to create these antibodies and they attack the beta cells and destroy it. Now this is one equipment which is FDA approved, again a part of cell based therapy. If you see this is a uh, T flask, this T flask has got 7 to 8 layers connected to each other. Now this T flask is coated with the layer of blood, a uh, cord blood tissue derived mesenchymal stem cells. It is covered with a simple layer of cord blood derived mesenchymal stem cells. Now these cells play a major role for educating the T cells. Now basic concept remains we have to educate the T cells which are mature in your body. This is called as a T cell educator. In type 1 diabetes, what is it done is that one side, as we go for a blood donation or a paralysis machine is used for some kind of separation of the blood components, the same machine will get attached. The machine will isolate the T cells completely. T cells 
uh, completely and those T cells we circulate at a specific rate. We have to create a contact between the T cell and the uh, mesenchymal stem cell derived from the cord blood cells. These contact is very, we just don't want to run it. The most important concept remains the time factor, how much and how long these cells should remain in touch contact with this. Because the, then what happens here is that co-stability molecule, which is very important for any kind of immunological reaction or any kind of autoimmune body, is set right by the uh, mesenchymal stem cells caught to that. And then the T cells which is coming out of the circulation and going back to the body of the patient is a completely changed T cell. Completely changed T cell. Now these T cells learn what not to do. As a wrong mistake they were doing it. They are destroying the beta cells. Now here most important phys 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 physiology remains that every organ has adult potent uh, adult potent, multipotent stem cells, every organ has got. Likewise, pancreas has got its own regenerative potential. This regenerative potential indicates that whether the cell dies, whenever the cell dies, the next subsequent cell has to replace it from an adult to a multipotent stem cell. Now, whether you give beta cell or don't give beta cell, if the destruction is stopped, pancreas has its own potential to develop the beta cells of its own from its adult multipotent stem cells. This is a philosophy where this product has come in the US now and they have done a lot of clinical trials on this and they have successfully treated hundreds of small children where the, uh, they have the child, the small children which were on multiple doses of insulin injections or shots, they are off those insulin and the child are normal with the biorhythm of the insulin getting into their body. In brief, if you see the adult stem cell, as I was talking about the mesenchymal stem cells which are uh, coated with the instrument here, but plain mesenchymal stem cell also plays a major role in heating and controlling the type 1 diabetes also because it has got an immunomodulatory property which also when we give directly in the circulation of the body, it also does the same job. Type 2 insulin, uh, type 2 diabetes, we are aware of the two pathological findings of it which are concerned with the dis either the resistance of the insulin which we have noted it that it leads to a kind of uh, uncontrolled diabetes and then as the insulin resistance there, pancreas goes in action more to produce more insulin, a time comes when the pancreatic cells get exhausted and they start dying. Now, after dying, again we require beta cells here. The insulin resistance, beta cells die and then we come to the second stage pancreas try to compensate producing more and more insulin as I said just now, beta cells start dying and a time comes as I was saying you since the insulin what we are using exogenous source doesn't have an biorhythmic potential to control the body sugar level so it keeps on fluctuating very often. We, though we call it that key fasting and post meal, but ultimately the times are there when insulin levels are solve, uh, shortfall, the sugar level transiently go up very high. So chronically, if you see over a long time, the DJP changes come in the picture. And then the diseases which you find in the neuropathy, the peripheral nerves, then vascular diseases because the endothelial behavior, endothelial cells has got a known disturbed behavior and they also give a reflection into peripheral vasculopathy and ultimately this peripheral vasculopathy will lead to a renal disease or tenopathies and they become a major cause for us, the majority of the patients going into a complication. In fact, if you see this, whenever we talk of diabetes 2, resistance comes from the inflammatory marker which is TNF-alpha which is very important and insulin resistance grows as the TNF-alpha level grows and what happens is more important the mesenchymal stem cells play or stem cells play a major role to inhibit the TNF-alpha secretion which is very important this plays a major role to reduce the insulin resistance as the insulin as the stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells we give, they have major inhibition. This has been proved by some studies. These were the studies which were shown by Agrawal et al. Et al group, where if you see the mesenchymal planes were kept and they did not show any kind of 
increase in the uh, TNA alpha, then mesenchymal plus LPS, that lipopolysaccharides, no uh, TNA alpha increase and DC cells, no. But when we put the cells with DC cells and LPS, the TNA alpha level increase. And with the same combination, when we keep with MSCs, the TNA alpha falls down. These are studies which are proving that MSCs do play a major role to restrict the secretions of TNF alpha. Whereas at the same time, we, we cannot forget the cells, beta cells which are dying away in the second part. We need to also find out in vitro study. This is an in vitro study which shows us how the insulin in vitro is increased secretion. When, if you see both the lines, again if you see when the MSCs were uh, kept in the, along with the uh, glucose levels, the secretions were increased very high level of insulin here in vitro. And in vivo, again the STZ was used to destroy the beta cells in animals, so the insulin levels were fallen down and again when STZ plus the MSC, MSCs were given, the insulin level increased. So it, these are the models in the animal where the studies have proved that MSCs or stem cells have a potential to differentiate in a given environment, in a given environment, not everywhere, with the proper inducing factors in a given environment, these cells can differentiate into beta cells to get to the uh, status of beta cells and giving the biological rhythm to the pancreas. Looking at the complications, how these stem cells can be helpful to treat the complications of the diabetes. The first part what we have seen the role of stem cells in the management of the uh, diabetes. The reason being that first part was shown is that not only the stem cells treat diabetes, how they can treat even the complications of diabetes. Like if we see the complications like neuropathy, vasculopathy, then retinopathy, nephropathy, which are the leading causes of the death as on date on the high scale and high alert of the diabetic countries where the diabetes is blowing up very high level. The case reports have shown that the major camels have a potential of two types. One, they never, they rarely have a role in playing an inflammatory factors, but they have a major role in anti-inflammatory factors as well as the growth hormones like endothelial growth factors they produce, vascular growth factors they will produce. At the same time, they also produce BDNF, that is brain derived growth and neurotrophic factors. These play a major role when, whenever the nerve is degenerating or any kind of neural tissue degenerating and we locally transplant the stem cells are in around the nerves or in the systemic circulation. The results are found that these factors do a play a play major role to revive the nerves and the pain can be controlled completely as well as the functions can be controlled completely. Now endothelial factor, if you see the bone marrow, if you happen to analyze the components of the bone marrow, it's a multicellular structure. We don't have only MSCs or hematopoietic stem cells. We have VACL cells, we have added, uh, rather we can have added multipotent stem cells, we have VACL cells, we have endothelial progenitor cells, we have even, we can call the pericytes are available. All those types of cells are in the composition, the multiplex structure, having different types of cells in the bone marrow. The reason each cell is an assisting to each other to differentiate into specific function depending on the environment in which they go. Now, this bone marrow, when we enrich the activity of the bone marrow, we enrich by using GCSF hormone. And when this enrichment is coming, then we have the endo endothelial progenitor cells are very at high level. These cells do play a major role again to set right the endothelial cell system properly to function uh, to re recover from the vasculopathies. Similarly, in the, in the case of the kidney, uh, the kidney damage in the diabetes, if you see this first biopsy of the kidney, second biopsy of the a normal kidney, the kidney which has got a damage with STZ where the uh, chemical was used to destroy the beta cells and the diabetes was positive and this was plain. And with, this is with the MSC, the MSCs were added for the treatment. Now here if you see there are marks of green cells, green uh, dots, which are the macrophages, inflammatory macrophages coming in the picture, showing that the chronic inflammation is setting and destroying the organ here. Whereas when we go with the MSC, same kidney shows no appearance of macrophages clinical in chronic stages, showing that MSCs are playing major role for recovery here. And whereas normal, normal kidney shows no structures of that kind of taking place here. 
in brief most important i read out the red marking here which is very important to understand for all of us stem cell alone doesn't play a major role in treatment how they are important ilex cells cluster typically respond to a higher than normal uh, concentration of glucose by releasing insulin in two phases a quick release of high concentration of insulin and a slower release of lower concentration of insulin in this manner the beta cells can fine tune the response to glucose this is what the theory says if you want to have a really biological control of diabetes stem cells can will replace any other modality conventional therapy because they can set up the beta cells in the body in such a way again in the original place i said you could